For starters, I'm going to place the speculum inside just like a regular pap smear. So what we do is to bring the Dysis system towards you. This, I always tell patients, does not go inside of you. This sits right on the outside. Now, when you see your cervix here, this is the opening. And this opening is just a few millimeters uh, big. Everything is very magnified here on the colposcope in this high resolution image. This little few millimeter thing there dilates up to 10 centimeters and that's where the baby comes out. So this is really a very impressive organ. What you're looking at here is just some normal mucus of the cervix because the job of the cervix is to create mucus. This is the side wall of your vagina and you see here is the bottom part of the speculum. What I'm going to do is to apply some vinegar. This mists onto your cervix. So that may feel a little funny. Um, in some people it stings a little bit, but as you can tell, it's nothing that's, nothing that's bad. Now, I mentioned before that abnormal cells will take on a different appearance on the cervix. In fact, the more abnormal the cell is, the more it takes up that vinegar. And as it takes up that vinegar, the abnormal cells will turn white. In a standard colposcopy, the clinician sits at the microscope or the pair of binoculars and looks at the cervix and tries to determine what looks white and what doesn't and based on that, we'll make the, the decision to take a biopsy. What's happening here with the Dysis system is that every one second, the computer is taking a picture of the cervix. It's able to tell by looking back at the series of images it's acquired to determine which areas are the maximal uptake of that vinegar. In other words, which areas are the most abnormal. The colors show us the areas that may be the worst. The computer looks and it sees an area here that suggests that may be abnormal. So that tells me, you know what, I think that I'm probably gonna biopsy that spot. And in so doing, we're able to tell which of the areas is the most abnormal, which most likely is uh, what caused your pap to be abnormal, and give you the most accurate diagnosis with the very least amount of invasion as we can. The most important thing to know, and I hope I've been able to show you, is that a colposcopy is a very basic procedure, and that an abnormal pap smear is nothing that you need to fear. We're here with you through this process. We'll get you through it, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, I'm Dr. Randy Fink.